Anyways, I want to say a huge <laughs> thanks to uh, everyone. Uh, this has been an absolutely excellent presentation, and I really, really appreciate hearing from each and every single one of you. I think all of you have alluded to this. Um, we're going through an unprecedented time here in Canadian history. Uh, you've all also alluded to the fact that the you know federal government has acted fairly quickly. We've introduced a whole bunch of uh, support programs. We try to get money into the hands of as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. And we kind of took the, the, the motto of uh, perfect can't be the enemy of the good. But obviously, we have a lot more things to do. And I think we're starting to get a much better sense of uh, how things uh, may unfold. I think we're, and I call it a sort of three phases. One is we're, we're still in the trying to get past the surge phase. So we're still in the immediacy of the whole situation. The next phase is kind of what I call the interim phase. It's the phase right before we get to the vaccine. We can't really go back to the new normal until we actually uh, get some sort of vaccine. So how are we going to operate in this interim period, which mostly is around a year to a year and a half? Now, a number of you have mentioned a number of really great ideas, the 100% right abatement, um, the loans, uh, easier to access loans, uh, more of them forgivable, um, imposing sort of more unanimous rules, particularly around uh, sort of rents and getting money to flow as fast as possible, and just a number of changes that we need to do with our banks. So I think that's heard loud and clear. And so I want to uh, mention that to you. My question to you is, I think, I wonder if I can get some uh, advice or some uh, input into how is it that we start looking at this interim phase? Because as a number of people have mentioned, you know, we'll probably be able, restaurants might be able to go back 40 to 60 percent, but it's going to have to be under strict uh, uh, public, um, uh, public health rules. And then even once we get into a vaccine, it's going to be a new normal. And the world will change there as well. Food prices will be different. How we staff will be different behavioral in society will change. And I think one of um, the panelists uh, had mentioned something about, you know, travel probably far, be far more in Canada and how do we promote that? So my question to you is, because I'm trying to figure out how, you know, we're trying to sort of get to the immediacy. So you've made some great recommendations. Now I'm trying to say, how is it that we get through the next phase? What's the group of people? Do we need to form a panel committee? Do we need to have the developers come, the back, the bank, uh, the bankers come together. Do we need to bring uh, the re all the restaurants together, federal, provincial governments? Like, who's the right grouping of people that will help to sort of uh, set a plan for what happens over the the sort of interim period? And then, how is it that we can craft some sort of a new plan moving forward once we have a vaccine in place? So, I'm not sure who wants to take that. I'd love to hear from someone from the restaurant, someone from the hotel industry, maybe someone from tourism. But if uh, someone wants to maybe take that. Okay, we'll start with uh, Mr. Oliver. And then if somebody else wants to raise their hand, we'll go to them, Mr. Oliver and Mr. Yeah, Lafrave next. Go ahead. Yeah, just quickly, I, th I think, you know, you guys have done a lot in the last 40, 45 days. And I, I think now getting into that very industry specific uh, part to save the capital that we have, that you guys have to dole out, is super important. I, I genuinely believe you guys, we don't have a crisis in just hospitality right now. Let's face it. We have a crisis that you guys have to deal with, which is I do not envy you whatsoever. You have to deal and become experts in every single industry all at the exact same time. Uh, I do not think that is is feasible for you to, to do it in a timely manner. And my recommendation to you as far as how we do this, whether it be in the short term and in the ending of the short term right now to the medium to the long term, is to bring in operators and, and groups like the guys you're talking to here and set up specific committees to say, how do we talk to actual industry experts as opposed to making assumptions of what, what might be needed for specific industries um, so that you can go from the broad-based approach that we're looking at right now and actually getting sector-specific to look at what is actually going to be needed until we either find a cure or, or a vaccine at the end of the day, I think, I think is going to be paramount to the success of any plan. Mr. Lefebvre? Yes, I think the, I think the question is very interesting because because it's a little bit the thing that we've been presenting in a few webinars to our members that you know we're kind right now of in between phases in between in between the phase of emergency measures and also you know moving to you know what's going to be in the industry and what is it going to be in terms of the confinement measures and those kind of things. Definitely, restaurants Canada, we will raise our hand to be on any kind of panel to you know think how things are going to move forward. Uh, we have the contacts with a lot of operators, so, so definitely something that we're willing to work on. Uh, and we've also started, I would say, second week of March, even before most of the restaurants were closed or forced closed, uh, to think what the situation would be, because it's going to be one thing to be able to reopen and to have some kind of social distancing. It's going to be another thing to build back the consumer confidence. 
And those two different things might require different kind of, of, of involvement from governments, but also from the industry. So, so much the better if we can work it together. Okay, uh, Julie, time for one quick one, just because I near stalled your time. Go ahead. No, it's okay. I mean, that was my main question. I didn't know if someone from tourism wanted to come in as well. I don't know if, uh, uh, or if anyone else wants to respond to that. Does anybody else uh, want or in hotel? on that? No? Do I see anybody? I don't yell if you are. I can't see everybody. Okay, then we'll <laughs> I go think on. we're good.